Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So in our previous videos, we saw about integrating the Neo Load with Azure DevOps and integrating the JMeter project into GitHub and we saw about how to integrate our Load Runner project with Azure DevOps. So in those videos, one of the subscribers have asked for how to execute a JMeter test with Azure DevOps pipeline. So thanks for asking that question and today we are going to see how to do or how to run a JMeter load test using the Azure release pipelines. And before we move on to the video, this is me, Yosan Shamnagam. Please do subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet. So with no further delay, let's go to the video. So I have, again, uh, like the previous videos, I have divided this task into multiple subtasks. And we will see how to do that. So I have divided this part of this video into seven different tasks. So the first step is going to be creating a new project and already I have created a new project for this demo, which is the JMeter Azure Pipeline load test. So let me open it. So we have not done these steps yet. So I'm ju I'll just remove them. Okay, so I have created the first step, which is the creating a new project and it is done. So let's move on to the next step which is creating a new release pipeline and for creating a new release pipeline we'll have to go to the pipelines and under pipelines we'll have to select the releases and i have already have created two different projects for various other tests so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a new release pipeline so for that i have selected new and under it i have two options one is the new release pipeline and in case if you have a release pipeline we can import it so we can import it through the json file so for now let's create a new release pipeline okay so we have started the steps so we have created a new release pipeline and the next step is going to be adding an artifact and connecting the repository so this is going to be adding a github repository to the azure devops pipeline and this github repository will contain our jmeter project so in case if you have missed the video of how to integrate or how to upload your jmeter script to github please do check in the playlist so i have the video on how to push our jmeter project to github you can visit the watch the video so the first step which is adding an artifact so we have lots of other templates the market business templates which is something like the azure app service deployment or deploying a java app to azure app service or deploy a node.js app so these are the templates which are available in market but now we're going to choose an empty job so i've chosen an empty job and then I'm clicking on our add an artifact and under this we are going to add the artifact. So artifact is nothing but it holds the project. It holds the project which we normally create in our machine. So any JMeter project which we have it in our bin folder under the bin folder we'll have. So that files will be uploaded to our repo. So if it is a JM Azure repos, so we will discuss this in a separate video of how to run the same thing. Uh, same test from Azure repos. So for now, we will choose the GitHub, but still we have various other options, something like the TFVC or the Azure Artifacts or the GitHub release or the Azure Containers, the Docker Hub and Jenkins. So let's now make the connection. So I'm choosing this, so I'll have already connected to it. So in case if you have not connected to it, it's not a problem. Just click on this Manage. And once you click on manage, you'll be taken to this service connection. So under service connections, click on new. So we can, so just click on service connections and you can choose new service connection. And if you are going to add the GitHub, choose the GitHub from this option and then click on next. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the OAuth configuration as part of this grant authorization so i'm just choosing this drop down and i'm choosing azure pipelines so what i'm going to what we are doing now is we are creating a connection between the github and the azure pipelines so that is what we're going to do now so there's nothing to confuse so this part is so service connection is nothing but connecting the github 
to the Azure pipelines to this page and click on authorize and yes so automatically my project has been connected here so in case if you are asked to enter your credential the username the github username or password you can enter that and can connect it and then if i click on okay you can choose the grant access permission to all pipelines and if you can click choose so since i have already have the connection i'm not doing it again so click on back closing it closing this window and coming back to the new release pipeline so i'm choosing their repository so since these are the projects which I have in my repository, so I'm going to choose the Apache demo. So in case if you are running any other project, you can choose the others. But now Apache demo is my choice. So I have chosen Apache demo. And then this will ask you for the default branch. So which branch are you going to use for this test? So in case you might have multiple branches, your main, your feature, your develop. So I'm going to use the develop branch. And under this, I choose latest from the default branch under the default version. And then I'm not making any other changes. So the, so I'm adding the artifact now. I've added the artifact. So make sure you have your artifact displayed in the artifacts folder. So the next step, which is adding the artifacts, which is the GitHub repository and creating the empty job is completed. So this is done. The step three is done. Let's move on to the next step, which is the most important one, which is adding the tasks in the stage. So I'm clicking on the stage. So we have one job plus three different tasks. So here we can see we have the stage one. So in case if we want to rename it, we can rename it. And under this, we have three different options. So we have we can either add an agent job, which is the one which we are going to do now. And in case if you want to add a deployment group job, even we can choose that where we can deploy the conditions where we can deploy the group. So since we are not going to do that, I am removing it now. And in case if you are if you want to run an agentless job, yes, we can do that agentless job test. So again, it is going to be the same thing. So after you add the agentless job, you can select your settings so, or the tasks from this agentless job and we can run the test. We'll, that, we'll see that in a separate video for now. This video is going to be running a JMeter test using the agent job in the Azure release pipelines. And so here, so once I choose the agent job, so here we have multiple options like the Azure pipeline. So in case if I want to run it through a hosted Azure pipeline, I can choose it. But for now, I'm choosing, I am having the hosted Windows 2019 with Visual Studio 2019 as my default agent pool. And then in case if we are running any private agents with a private test with no agents, we can even choose this. But for now, I'm choosing the hosted Windows 2019 and there are no other changes. I'm just doing it here. So let's now go on to the next step, which is adding the JMeter. So I'm choosing the JMeter. So in case if you have not installed it yet, you can go to the marketplace, install it and refresh it again. And once you refresh it automatically you can you will get this add option and add it so this is going to be the first step so in this release pipeline the first step which is going to happen is installing the jmeter so for that i'm using the version 5.4.2 and then we have multiple pipelines so what are these pipelines or why do we need that or do we really need that or what really are so the first plugin which is the casutg which is the custom thread group plugin which has the stepic thread group or the ultimate thread group the concurrency thread group the arrivals the free form arrival so we'll see that in a separate video on what are these thread groups and the second one is going to be the dummy so we all know the, about the dummy sampler so in case if you do not know about this dummy sampler please do visit the video in my playlist and the next one is going to be FFW, which is the flexible file writer, which we use to write the data in a file. Even I have a separate video for this flexible file writer. We can visit the video. And then the next one is FIFO, which is the inter-thread communication. And then we have the functions, which is the custom JMeter functions. And then we have the JSON, which is the custom plugin for writing our input or output of any JSON files or formats. Then we have the PerfMon, which takes us to the performance monitors. And then we have the PRM CTL, which 
tells the parameterized controller and set variable actions and finally we have the TST which is the throughput shaping timer. So these are the most default and the most useful plugins in Gmeter. So we are having it. So let's have that with us. And we have completed this step. So the next step is going to be adding a command line. So let's click on the agent job plus symbol and why command line? We're going to run this test in the Azure pipeline through a non GUI mode and that is the reason we are choosing this command line script. So the task, the second task is adding the command line script and under the script we have here echo write your commands here. So we're going to write our commands here and the command is going to be jmeter and hyphen n which tells us that this test is going to be a non GUI mode. The next argument is hyphen t which tells us that the project name is going to be http request.jmx and please make sure that your project is in the right folder for you to, for you to run the test and then we have the hyphen l argument to tell us that results.jtl is going to be the results file and then we have the argument e and argument o which tells us that these files are going to be exported and output into the reports folder. So we're going to export that and it is going to be displayed or it's going to be occupied in the reports folder. And under advanced, let's choose the working directory. So I'm clicking on this three dots. So now we have got the linked artifacts which we have already connected using our artifacts window. So if you remember under step 3 we have connected our GitHub repository. So in case if it is not loaded please do refresh. Feel free, feel free to refresh your DevOps pipeline and you'll get it. And let's choose the project. So working directory is going to be the Apache demo and here you can see the HTTP request.jmx file is the one that we're going to do, uh, we're going to run as a test. And I'm choosing this location for the browsing directory. And then I have nothing to change in the control options, I have nothing to change in the environment variables and again in the output variables. And let's go to the final step. So before that let's complete this step. So under task 4 we have completed the task in the stage and the next step is going to be adding the or uh, uploading add upload release artifact and the last one is going to be publish release artifact so let me enter it here so in case again if this is not been installed please do install it which is the publish release artifact and I'm adding it now we'll have to make some changes here and for the path or file that the fo that the file folder should be uploaded, so I'm clicking again on the three dot, and I'm just choosing this location, and clicking on OK, and then make sure you remove this folder so that automatically this file will be uploaded in the working directory. And under the control options, I have nothing to change, and again the same way for output variables. So we are done with adding all the three tasks. So we are done with all these. So let's now save the pipeline and comment so this is going to be release pipeline jmeter test and clicking on ok and now it's done this is done and now let's click on release create release pipe pipeline release and execute it so I'm clicking on create release and under this I'm choosing the stage one the release description is going to be running jmeter test on the 20th of January and I'm clicking on create so now we have created the project and I'm clicking on release one so now we are ready for executing the test so I'm clicking on this stage one and under this I have this option of deploying it so I'm clicking on deploy and again that for the comment it is going to be jmeter test execution so in case if you have any other comments please do enter it clicking on deploy and once it is started let's go back to the logs 
let's wait so here we can see the sub status is going to be the installing of so we are like just waiting for the hosted windows 2019 as the first step let's click the refresh and let's wait for some more time to the job to get completed So yes, we have completed our load test or the JMeter test using the Azure pipelines and here we can see the install JMeter is succeeded and here we can see the logs of it and the next step is uploading the release artifacts. So the command line script which will execute our script. So here we can see our HTTP request.jmx file is executed in the load test using the non-GUI mode. So here you can see the script has been executed and the file has been exported to the temporary folder here. And the last step is just uploading the release artifacts. So we'll see that in the next step. So we have completed creating a pipeline and we have released this report. And let's now open the JMeter and I will show you what has happened in the report. So I have opened the JMeter, but the last step is going to be downloading the logs and check the report. So for that, we will go back to the upload release artifacts. And you can see here that is this folder. So let's go to the download all logs. So we have downloaded the reports. Let's open the file. And I'm exporting this file into a location. And here we can see our stage one logs. So I'm opening this, attempt one, the agent job. And under this, I have this a.zip. So let me again extract it. And we have exported or extracted the report here. So let me open this file in JMeter. Clicking on open and I'm opening the project. So here under the view results tree, again I'm clicking on browse and I'm opening the results.jtl. So if you remember, we have this as our let me go to the task, and if you remember, so this results.jtl is the file name. So I'm opening this results.gtl, clicking on open. So this is what we have executed during this load test. So this is a quite simple, a very simple load test using JMeter. So let's do a quick recap. So we have start, we have created a new project and then we have created new release pipelines and then we have added an artifact which is an empty job and then we have connected the github repository and then we added three tasks the first one is adding the jmeter and installing the jmeter which is the first step and the first task of this stage and then we have added the command line where we have used the non g non gui mode to run the test and then finally we have the uploading release artifact where we have used this to upload and to find the working directory and we have uploaded the results and then we save the pipeline we created the pipeline release and executed it and finally here the last step which is down we downloaded the logs and we have checked the reports and everything works fine so with that we come to end uh, come to an end so in case if you have any doubts please feel free to comment in the ask it in the comment section in the next videos, we will see in a complete or in a detailed JMeter test. So we'll check out various different plugins and uh, different other options of using the DevOps pipeline. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Thank you so much.